Hey there guys, you're watching Amitha Verma. I just got home from work and I have to tell you, I think today was the hardest day I have ever faced in being a business owner. If you follow me or if you don't, you might know that I am the creator and founder of Village Antiques and or creator of many furniture lines, antiques, paint, all kinds of amazing, great things that have really helped people change their life and their homes. And it has been a really crazy, difficult journey following my passion to do something that's off the beaten path and not a need and definitely a luxury and all those kinds of things. And I have faced some very, very difficult challenges and I will say today was the hardest. Um, today is the day our city was shut down. This means that all of us should stay home unless our jobs are essential for the health and safety of our community. And all of the fears that we've all been feeling inside have come out and it was so difficult for me to look into the eyes of my employees today and tell them, hey guys, we're shutting down, we're forced to shut down and not know what's gonna come in the future. You know, I have always kept it as such a priority and a responsibility that no matter how much money we make or don't make that my people always got paid. And so while I could promise that to them, their salary, their paycheck for a few more weeks, I have no idea what's coming and neither do they, do they. And we all know that. And it was just a very hard day to face the fears of what's coming up next. And it's hard. And I know most of people, most of the people in America are small business owners. And today and days before, like today, if you've already gone through this in your city, are super hard. And how do you get through it? Um, I don't know. I can tell you a couple of things that I did. Um, cry. Have a good cry because you just got to get it out sometimes. I had a good cry with one of the employees at work. And we just agreed that we're into this together. And we're going to try our best to get through this together text my girlfriends. Um, it's always fun to text a couple of your good gal pals to lighten it up. And, and sadly, some of them are going through the exact same thing. I just got a text from one of them that their entire company is shut down without pay for God knows how long. After I text my friends, one of my friends sent me one of those clever quips, too blessed to be stressed. And here's the thing about stress. All these feelings that we're feeling, stress, anxiety, sadness, it, they're all good. They're all good. They are the incredible way, nature's way, God's way to tell us to do something, to stop doing something, to listen, to heed the warnings, to slow down. It's okay. It's okay to be stressed. It's okay to be anxious, scared. We're all feeling the same feelings and it's okay. And we're going to just get through this together. And I guess keep yourself busy, which is what I'm about to go do. I'm about to go power clean my closet. Um, the thing that I've always done, I have never really shared a lot of my story with you guys, but my parents were immigrants. They came from India. Every obstacle was against us. My parents split up when we were kids, which was a shocking thing to ever happen in our community, in our world growing up. And it was, it was a tough, tough thing. And I, I think I'm sure that's what's inspired all my love for creating this heart in your home, what I call it. And the thing that's gotten me through it all of these years, and I know it's going to get me and you through what's happening now, is being faithful and hopeful. That is all we have and that is all we need. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go keep myself busy to avoid um, feeling too low because I don't want my mind to go there. I don't want my mind to go down that tunnel of what if, what if, what if, when all we know is what we can do exactly right now. So I'm gonna go clean up my closet and I am going to stay faithful and hopeful and hang on to that because it's gotten me through and I'm sure it's gotten you through every single time. And this is crazy and never seen before and something that none of us can process, but I know faithfulness and hopefulness will get us through.